So in this video, I'm just going to show you a few different cool ways that we can use that magnetic mask to do some cool effects in Final Cut Pro. So hope that you're excited to get started. Let's dive in. Now the first effect I want to show you here is something that I've shown you in another video, but it's kind of a more simplified way to do it with the magnetic mask. Let's take, for example, this video right here. I'm just going to take this clip and let's say that I want the background of this character to be much more blurred out because a lot of times with our cameras or we're recording with our phone or something like that and it doesn't actually have that depth of field that we want and so we can create that with the magnetic mask very easily. All we need to do is make sure that we're somewhere on our video clip and we're going to go over to our effects here and we're going to look for blur. Now, one of the nice things with the magnetic mask is you can actually just take an effect like this and you can pull the effect and drag it over top of your subject and it will then begin to mask it using a magnetic mask. So if we just drop it on our character here, it's going to create a magnetic mask, as you can see over here, and it's gonna create that in association with this Gaussian blur that we have here. So dropping the effect right onto our subject like that is gonna create a magnetic mask for us using that effect. Now, it looks like it's done a pretty good job already of just figuring out where the character is, so I don't need to make any changes to this at all. I'm just gonna go through the process of analyzing it. Okay, and so now that it's analyzed, if I click done, now you can see that it's blurred out my subject, which isn't really what I want. So all we do is go up here to this apply mask shape here, and we go to invert mask, and now the background is the blurred out part. The mask has been inverted, and so it's just quick and easy we can blur it out. And now we can adjust the amount of the Gaussian blur here. We can kind of adjust it to whatever we want to make it whatever level of blur that we want. So it's just a much easier, much cooler way to be able to add that blurred background effect without having to duplicate your layer. And a few people brought that up in the comments in the last video I did about this, so I thought that it would just kind of be a good paying homage to them to show you how to do it this way as well. The next effect I want to show you is actually really cool and something you can do with many of the different effects in Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to grab a clip of this right here. So I'm just going to kind of put my mouse over here. I'm going to hit the I key to set an endpoint, and I'm just going to drag it over until she's maybe about to here or so. And I'm going to go less than that until she gets to right before this little planter here. I'm just gonna hit the O key and that will set an out point and that just gives me a little portion of this and I'm just gonna drag that down onto the timeline and we'll use that for our example here. Now all we have to do is come back over to this character and we're gonna go down here into our effects and we're going to look in the nostalgia category, we're gonna look for the security effect. And so that kind of creates this kind of cool like security camera look here. But what we really wanna do is we just wanna add that effect to our character. So just like we did before, all we have to do is click on this and drag it over onto our subject and then it will highlight her and it will actually create a mask for her. You just kinda of wanna move it around until you've got every part of her covered and then we're gonna let go and then that will create a magnetic mask around our subject like that. And then all we have to do here is analyze it and then we'll see the result. Okay, and so now that we've analyzed that, we can just click done. And then now you can see it's added that really cool security camera effect, but just to her. So if we go back here and we just kind of play it out for a second, you can see that she has that kind of cool security camera look on her and it just kind of makes it more interesting and something kind of cool to look at. So just thought that was a cool effect. All right, now the third effect that I want to show you is using this type of clip right here. We're just going to take a person and she's going to be standing in a background and there'll be that time lapse thing happening in the background. But let's just kind of grab a small clip of this. So I'll set an endpoint here and I'm just going to grab an out point there. It'll just be kind of a quick example. We'll just pull this down here onto the timeline. It'll be something small, but it's pretty cool to do. So what I want to do here is I want to take my character here and I want to keep her the colors that she is, but I want to make the background completely black and white. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could actually just click on here and then go to the colors. And then under corrections here, we could add a color wheels and then up here you can click on the masks and you could click on add magnetic mask and then we could just adjust the colors of that magnetic mask so let's do it that way so we'll just click on here and now that we've got a magnetic mask here we're going to select an actual character so we're going to select her and we want to kind of like clean up this space right here so we'll just go in here and I will hold down the option key and I'm going to click in that space in there 
and we'll see if that does a decent job. I'll click there. Okay, so that gets rid of that space there. I think that's pretty good. Oh, and I also see a space up here. There's like a red person's head back there. I want to kind of take away that so it doesn't pick that person up. And so now we've got a magnetic mask on our character. We can analyze that really quick. Okay, and now that that's analyzed, we can actually go through and we'll just kind of click on the magnetic mask here. We'll click done so that it's actually applied. And then we're gonna go over here to our color wheels and on the global, we're just gonna set the saturation all the way down to nothing, okay? And now we've basically taken all of the color out of the background here, but our subject continues to be colorful. And so if we kind of play through that, you can see she stays colorful in the foreground while the background is black and white. And it gives kind of a nice cool punchy effect where she stands out in the foreground and the background is completely black and white and our attention is drawn to our character. So just another cool effect that we can do with the magnetic mask. So the fourth example is doing kind of a composition with the magnetic mask. And to show you this composition, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this kind of cool little time-lapse sky here and I'm going to drop that down here in the timeline like that and then I'm gonna take this shot of this guy this person with his son and he's kind of holding him and hugging him we're gonna pull that down on top of here and I'm gonna shrink this video down to match the size of the one below it I'm gonna put my cursor here and then I'm just gonna hit option square bracket so we're essentially just cutting the end off of that video and so now I'm gonna apply a magnetic mask here. So I'm just gonna click on the wand. I'm gonna click on add magnetic mask. And then now that there's a magnetic mask on here, I'm going to go over to my options. Oh, and before we do that, you can see kind of the background video is showing because these two videos are two different sizes. So I'm gonna take this top video here. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. So it kind of covers that background like that, okay? And now I've got the magnetic mask already on here. So I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to choose him as my subject and I want to make sure that I get every part of him and his son so we're just kind of kind of make sure that we've covered everything and just like every other time we're gonna go through the process of analyzing this and that's basically all we're gonna to have to do for this one I don't know about all of you but I am stuffed and in case you were wondering this is not gray these are wisdom streaks Okay, and now that we've analyzed this one, if we just click done here, you can see now we have this nice cool background and these characters are composited into the background. If we play through this one, we can see that this one would definitely require a little bit of kind of color correction and fixing. So let's do a little bit of that here. We're just gonna click on this video here so that the option is available. First thing I wanna do is we're gonna feather to kind of get rid of this bright line around them. So we're gonna feather kind of into the negative and I just kind of like to do it until I see the line disappear. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. I'm just gonna add a little bit of color correction onto this. So I'm gonna click on my color panels here and then in my shadows, I'm gonna kind of go down a little bit darker here. Take my highlights down just a little bit. Take my midtones down just a little bit in color. And then the shadows, I'm gonna add some saturation, a little bit of saturation to them. Kind of add that a little bit there and a little bit here. I'm gonna drag the highlights kind of into the orange a little bit because the sky is kind of orange out here and I think that the, the orange light would kind of look orange on our individual here. I'll take the shadows kind of down a little bit into the blue, but not very far. And then the midtones, I think I'm also gonna bring up into the oranges just so it kind of blends in a little bit better with the scene. So I think that looks pretty good right there. So then if we just kind of play through it now, you can see it kind of looks like it starts off a little foggy and then it kind of like blends in and yeah so I think that's pretty cool it's just one of the things that you can do with the magnetic mask where we can basically just composite people out as was mentioned in other videos and stuff you could also do this if you just took your character and put them in front of a green screen or something and did it with chroma key but I think the magnetic mask just makes it easier for us to composite people in and out of things without having to worry about doing chroma key at all so it's definitely a cool feature the last little bit that I'm gonna show you here is, I'm just gonna take this little clip of cars kind of panning out, a drone shot of some cars, and let's say we wanted to kind of isolate one of the cars and we wanted to make it really obvious that that was something important, okay? So I'm just gonna set an in point here. I'm just going to let it pan out a little bit and I'll set an out point there and we'll just drag that clip in and use that. And then in this video, we're just going to kind of colorize one of these cars and we're gonna make it so that that car is just like bright yellow and uh, we're correcting just the color of that one 
one car and everything else is kind of the way it was and this car stands out from all the rest. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to my color effects here and I'm just going to scroll down and try to find colorize here, okay? And we're going to, instead of having it be applied to the entire video, we're going to drag that colorize effect onto this specific car right here and I'm going to drop that on and of course like in other examples, this is gonna create a magnetic mask around this car. And so now we have this mask on here, so we'll just go ahead and analyze this and then we'll adjust the colors. You'll notice that the background music is a little more subtle and a little less obnoxious now. So thank you for those comments. Things like might've been way too much for you. And if you haven't figured this out by now, I'm a bit of a goofball. <laughs> All of the clips in this video are from artlist.io. It's a really cool site for different resources for filmmakers and for videographers. So if you want to check that out, be sure to. They don't sponsor this video, but they're definitely a cool resource if you need to find video clips and sound and things like that. Okay, so now that it's done analyzing, we're going to hit done here. And now the actual car will be colorized because now it's with these colors. And so let's say we want to make it more of a yellow color now. So I'm going to move the color here over to yellow and it's kind of lighter but we're gonna make it more intense here like that very intense yellow and the black which would be the darker colors in there are going to be a different color so we're actually going to want to move those over into the yellow spectrum as well and so now this whole car is colorized and if we were to go through this video and just zoom out then that car is really obvious and it kind of is pointed out among all of the other ones. So just another cool way that you can use the magnetic mask. It's really handy actually to be able to take most of the effects that are available in Final Cut Pro and just to be able to drop them onto a subject and create a magnetic mask using that effect. I just think that that part alone is an amazing feature in Final Cut Pro 11. And so that was just five interesting ways that you can use the magnetic mask in Final Cut Pro 11. There's a million different ways you can use it. There's a lot of different videos out there on how to use it now. So definitely check out other people's videos as well on how to use this and different features that you can use. I will of course create other videos about the magnetic mask as they come up, as I learn new things and I kind of find new features that are available. There's plenty of more content to come on this channel. I'm going to create videos about a variety of different subjects. I know it kind of seems like I'm really heavily focused on the magnetic mask right now, but it's a new feature. It's cool. It's fun to play with, but there's a lot of Final Cut Pro that I'm going to talk about. I will talk about other software like DaVinci and Premiere and CapCut and different things like that because the channel is more about just video editing in general general, but I personally use Final Cut Pro most of the time, so we're going to talk about that a lot in the beginning, but we will definitely expand outward from here. As always, I really appreciate you watching. If you're here in the U.S. and it's Thanksgiving for you, I hope you're having a great day with friends and family. If you're anywhere else in the world, I also hope you're having a great day, and I just appreciate that you're watching these videos, that you're supporting the channel. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. There's a link in the description below to buy me a coffee if you want to offer any kind of financial support to the channel. Otherwise, just subscribing, just liking the videos, just commenting down below, giving me your feedback, that's support enough for me. I really appreciate you stopping in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.